Aloha, I'm Melly James, host of Let's Mana Up. This show is meant to dive into stories of local product entrepreneurs and how they're growing their companies from right here in Hawaii. My guests today are Kekoa Casimero and Andrea Stickle, co-founders of Ambassadors with Aloha, based here on Oahu. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks hey. for Thank having, having us. us. <laughs> So why don't we have you start off by, um, by sharing your story. How did, how did you get started? Ambassadors with Aloha. So we're, we're co-founders. This is my fiance, Andrea Stickle. Um, where do we start? It's a long story. So <laughs> I kind of was here for the whole thing, so I can kind of speak for you, I guess. Um, you've been a professional surfer all your life. You rode for big companies like Hurley and Oakley. Um, Ambassadors with Aloha started, I mean, it's, it's been a passion of mine my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, I rode for, you know, numerous companies and, you know, we, I did collaboration pieces with them and, you know, it's finally my chance to sort of kind of put my vision to life and connect with my fans on a deeper level. So, I love the story yeah. about that you were like testing all the board shorts and yeah. all these little kind of features or like the oh, shorts you catching your, your knee or something mm -hmm. and you're like, okay, the short has to be like shorter. Yeah. It, it was, it's sort of like, you know, I'm a professional surfer and, you know, I live in board shorts every day. So, you know, for me, if I'm going to be putting out a product, I want to make sure that it's the best product possible with, you know, what I'm able to work with, you know, the, you know, the capital I was able to work with. And, you know, for me, I, my board short manufacturers, they were, uh, I was a pain in their butt. <laughs> they were like, you are changing it every single week. And I'm like, yeah, because I want to make sure that, you know, the board shirts I put out, are the best product possible. I'm a surfer, so I, I live that life. So I, you know, I, I literally surfed in them for about a year before I even put out anything. So I tested it, whether it was in a uh, 10-foot pipe, uh, it was a uh, training on the mats, we were training at tactical strength. So, you know, for, for me, it's important, you know, when we sort of put out product that I, I test it, she tests all the, the women's active wear that we're gonna be putting out. So, you know, for me growing up, um, you know, being with, you know, global brands, you know, we've always sort of, you know, put on these, these clothes and tested all these board shorts and done all this stuff. So, you know, that was always for me, the, the pinnacle of my career was doing like a custom board shorts, you know, with, with Hurley International. I was with them for 15 years and, um, you know, just, you know, going deeper into my story, it's like that, that was for me, you know, the biggest payoff of, of what I was doing because since I've been a kid, I love, I love dressing up. You know that. I, come, I, come, I dress up everywhere I go. I'm, I'm the kid that always had his, his clothes laid out on the bed the next day for school. So, I mean, it's been a passion of mine and, you know, for me to be able to connect with, with my audience, my fans and my following, you know, it's, it's always been something that was going to happen. And, you know, it's, I'm at a point in my life finally where, you know, I'm able to do that. And I, I absolutely love what I do. And I think that's awesome. really important, you know, for mm -hmm. entrepreneurs or anyone that's starting their own businesses, you got to make sure that it's something you love to do and you enjoy doing. Yeah. So, I yeah. mean, you've got this deep love for Hawaii, deep love for surfing and mm -hmm. deep love for fashion. Yeah. Big time. And so it's kind of all culminating together, which is mm -hmm. awesome. And I love seeing uh, a local surf brand because it mm -hmm. just feels that so many of the surf brands out there are all like not from here, even though surfing was right. invented totally. here. So it's so nice to see that really kind of coming back. Can you talk a little bit about the message of what Ambassadors Aloha is and like the message behind the prints? Ambassadors with Aloha is, uh, we want people to feel, you know, connected to this. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of brands I feel that, you know, are from Hawaii and, you know, a lot of brands are, you know, very, not, I don't want to, you know, say anything negative, but I want, you want people to feel connected to your brand and a part of it. You know what I mean? We didn't never want to feel aggressive or we never wanted to exclude anyone that's not here from Hawaii. That's something that we really wanted to share was we wanted to share the Aloha spirit, um, we wanted to share our, our culture and at the same time, our graphics. I mean, if you look at any of our graphics, whether it's our, our board shorts, our long sleeve tees, our hats, you know, the, our, our, our graphics are very culturally tied to Hawaii. And, you know, that's, that's an opportunity for us to share our culture, you know, with, you know as well as keeping a modern aesthetic and, and a, a contemporary pattern, you know, like you're talking about the board shorts being above the knee and just being board shorts that, you know, I surf in every day, I train in every day. So... You know, the quality is there, but at the same time, there's, a, there's an aesthetic to it that brings everything back here to Hawaii, which I feel is really important because, you know, being in, being in the Mana Up program um, has been amazing because it's you know, it sort of taught us, you know, the importance of having our roots here in Hawaii while we scale and while we become that global brand. And, and you know, I, I, I completely plan to take this global. I have so many goals and we have so many opportunities coming up. And... Um, I just, I'm really excited and I'm really excited to just share our culture and our aloha uh, throughout the world, you know, whether that's in 
Japan, Brazil, we have people reaching out all the time. They're like, we love the Aloha spirit. We love what you guys are doing. And, you know, for me, that's rewarding. That's, that's what, I'm, what I set out to do. And what I was always passionate about growing up surfing is connecting with, you know, my fans or people that we were doing designs with or, you know, bringing just, you know, our, our culture and just spreading it. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, let's take a look at some of the imagery with mm -hmm. uh, some of the fashion. And I'd love for you to kind of share what some of the patterns kind of mean to you um, and mean to the people wearing them. So what's, what's this one? Yeah, so this one is the, uh, this one's the Death Grip Long Sleeve Tee. So this is a very comfortable long sleeve. And we have, if you look, notice the sleeves, there's a hibiscus print down the sleeves with our logo. And on the back, it says Ambassadors with Aloha and Hawaii, uh, 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 you know, below that. And it's sort of a, you know, it has like a little bit of a Guns N' Roses vibe. And, you know, it has that, it has that like modern sort of, you know, uh, you know, hip fit where, you know, the younger generations and that demographic can wear that because, you know, I, I pay attention to everything. You know, I pay attention to what the younger generations are wearing, um, you know, what, what, you know, the athletes are wearing, you know, even we got the uncles wearing our board shorts at Sandy's and stuff. So nice. <laughs> it's for everybody. It's not just for, you know, a certain targeted audience. I want everyone to feel involved in this. And, you know, it's, it's funny because we have young kids that love that graphic. They're like, oh my gosh, we love the sleeve hits and we, we love that. And then we also have, you know, an older demographic that are like, oh my gosh, it has like a Guns N' Roses vibe. It's, it's, so it's cool to see like people's perspective on a graphic when you, you know, bring it to life and, and sort of, you know, just flow. And, you know, my graphic designer, he's so talented. And, you know, that's something I've been talking about recently is I don't ever tell him like, this is what you have to do. Mm -hmm. This is, this is the motivation. Here's the inspiration. We all stay in our lane. We do what we do. And that's how the best work comes out, you know? And so, so it does feel like it's, Surfwear, but it's kind of like streetwear, mm -hmm. or can you, can you talk a little bit about how you've melded those two things? I really right. haven't seen something like that before, and it's right. it's also really nice to see how so many different types of people do feel that they can wear this because it really mm -hmm. is like that ambassador with Aloha that is so accepting and open. Mm -hmm. But it's I, I find that it's amazing how you've been able to kind of interweave all these different thematics into your designs. Um, can you talk a little bit more about kind of the streetwear meets surfwear? Yeah. Totally. Um, that's that's actually where my passion is at. I follow I follow brands. I mean, going deeper into you know sort of what my inspiration has been. I follow you know brands like Fear of God, uh, Mike Amiri, John Elliott, and these are all like LA street brands where they do their their LA you know fashion designers and and they do all of their cut and sew in LA and it's inspiring because they do it from LA. And it's like that was that makes me think like I can do this from Hawaii. Like I want to make sure this is always going to be something that you know is based based here in Hawaii and. You know, for me, I, I love streetwear. I've always worn stuff from companies such as like Illist, the Hundreds, Diamonds, and stuff growing up. And, you know, I, I think being here in Hawaii, there's these surf brands, and it was just sort of cool to mesh everything and, you know, to bring that street vibe and then bring the surfwear. And it's like, it, it just, you can sort of see in it, see it sort of like bringing all these little, you know, demographics together, you know, like the, the, the Fairfax crew or whether it's just guys at the beach that want to rock the board shorts. So, um, I think it's really allowed us to, you know, reach different audiences and connect with different people. And then we have some collaborations coming up, too, where that's really going to come into play with uh, an actual street brand that I've, I've looked up to since I was a kid. And I used to buy their stuff. So that's coming up soon. And, you know, Secret? That, yeah. Not, I can't say it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it's, let me see, what can I say about this? Okay, I can say this. It's going to be our illest drop yet. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to give away too much, but I'm really excited about this one. Um, we actually just completed the collection. Um, so it's cool, too, because we got to incorporate the surf and the, the Hawaii. We, we have board shorts in this drop, and this street brand has never dropped board shorts. So they, I, I gave them a sample of our stuff. They saw the, the fit, the pattern. They're like, this is amazing. We love it. And I'm like, let's bring board shorts to this entire collection. I mean, we can do... You know, the sweat shorts, sweatpants, the bomber jackets, and it's just, the whole collection is so cool. It's a, it's a, it's a perfect mixture of sort of what you were saying, of, mm -hmm. of, of street and surf, and there's also, the, you know, the, the it's, it has an athletic feel as well. So, I mean, you can train in these, do yoga in these, so. You have yeah. a, you sponsor a couple athletes, right? Yes, we were working with uh, Yancy Medeiros. Uh, he's one of my, he's, he's my, like my brother. Um, we've been supporting each other. For the longest time ever so he uh, fights in the ufc so we were doing a lot of his custom shirts for his fights uh we were working with uh lima Lay mcfarlane as well she's a current bellator women's champion of the world so we were creating a lot of her custom gear so that's sort of you know our plan as well is we're, we're just we want to 
you know, for me, being an athlete and being on this side of the fence now, it's like I have that perspective of, you know, what it took for me to, you know, feel that support. You know, it's having that support and having that, you know, people behind you gives you so much confidence when you're competing. And I know that because there'd be times where I was at companies and I didn't feel the support and I was like, oh, am I surfing good enough or am I getting the results? Or it, it makes you think and it makes you kind of doubt yourself, even though you're confident in, in your craft or whatever you do. and you know, for me to know that and be on that side is like I put so much support behind our athletes or whoever we're going to work with in the future. I want them to know that, hey, listen, I'm behind you 200 percent. I want your graphic to be a complete like representation of your heart, of what you're feeling, colorways, uh, you know, what the graphic stands for, whether that's a foundation that you have or a belief you have and stuff like that. So when we work with athletes in the future, it's there's going to be a lot of uh, collaborations and hands-on designs with them because for me that was so cool mm -hmm. that was like one of the coolest parts mm -hmm. about being sponsored is like what you're gonna make my own board shirt or i gonna make my own shirt like you feel very a part of the brand when you yeah. do that and that's important for me to to do that and and carry that over because it just it, it makes you feel supported and, and that's when you perform best so you obviously you've had an amazing surf career mm -hmm. how do you feel that that's really helped you be a better entrepreneur what do you feel like from a what kind of doors have been opened? And I know you've had so many great collaborations and you've mm -hmm. had Nickelodeon Ultra yeah. vlog and all that. I mean, it just, I'm so amazed with how many opportunities and collaborations that the company's had in such a short amount of time. Right. But how do you feel like as a professional surfer, and you're, you're still a professional surfer, yeah. how that's really um, helped drive you as an entrepreneur? Um, it's, I feel I'm extremely grateful. Um, you know, like I, I, I say this, all the time, I'm very repetitive with this. Um, surfing has given me the platform to do what I do. Um, it's given me, you know, my fans and people that have been following my journey. And you know, I, I've connected with so many people in the industry. And you know, it's funny. Like I, I dropped my line, and there's people from those brands that I'm not going to mention who <laughs> they might get in trouble. <laughs> that were, you know, graphic designers or people I worked with in that brand, and they bought like big boxes of my gear and they're like, love it, keep doing it. And like, kind of was like, oh, hush, hush, I'm not saying anything, you're buying it. So, but just, you know, being a professional surfer and, and competing, it's, you know, it's, it's just, it goes, it's very parallel with what I'm doing though. I wanted to make sure everything in my life that I'm doing always kind of goes hand in hand, side by side. Um, competing, you know, we have uh, my videographer, he's actually here right now, uh, Reef Shaw. Reef Shaw Productions. Reef Shaw Productions, he's in the building. <laughs> he's got him. his red camera filming right now. So it's, you know, it's, Nicola Ultra has been incredible. Um, you know, they've, they've sort of has, have seen, you know, what you brought up is that not only do I want to be an athlete and, you know, perform at a high level, but I also want to be an entrepreneur and I want to, you know, take my business to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, that element is, is really important and I encourage that and I'm, I'm happy I've been able to inspire some guys that I even I surf with to start their own brands and yeah. whatnot because mm -hmm. we have this platform and we have this window, you know, of competing of like, okay, you're going to compete and you put all your eggs in one basket, but it's like after that, what, what is your plans? You know what I mean? And yeah. I've always had that mentality and I always knew I'd start my own brand. It was just a matter of when, and it was just perfect timing when I did it. Well, we'd love to, uh, we're going to take a break right now mm -hmm. and hear more about uh, the ups and downs of starting your own business and also <laughs> hear from your beautiful fiance, Andrea, as well. <laughs> Lots of those. <laughs> Thanks everybody. We're taking a break. Hi, I'm Rusty Kamori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life and the lives of people around you, Tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go beyond the lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Hi, guys. I'm your host, Lillian Kumik from Lillian's Vegan World. I'm, I come to you live every second Friday from 3 p.m. And this is the show where I talk about the plant-based lifestyle and veganism. So we go through recipes, some upcoming events, uh, information about health, regarding your health, and uh, just some ideas on how you can have a better lifestyle, eat healthier, and have fun at the same time. So do join me. I look forward to seeing you, and uh, aloha.
Welcome back, everyone. I'm Melly James with Let's Mana Up. We have Keikoa Casimero and Andrea Stickle here with Ambassadors with Aloha. Welcome back, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So I think we'll jump into some images so um, our audience here can see all the awesome fashion that we're talking about. Sounds so, good. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, what's, what's going on here? <clears throat> so here we have the Making Waves board shorts. Um, it's a black mint fade. And uh, this is sort of what we were talking about earlier. It's got a very you know, contemporary fit. It's above the knee mobility, uh, side seam zippers, completely velcro -less. So I, I live in board shorts. And you know, for me, that was one of the most important items in the whole line. Wait, let's, let's talk about this. What are the key features that you changed having, having worn these shorts for like a year? Okay. Knowing like, <laughs> what the heck you hated with all the yeah. other shorts you used to wear. Yeah, so I'm very, very particular about my board shorts. Yes. She knows this. Oh I, I am very hard on it. So I, Velcro gives surfers rash, whether mm -hmm. if you're in the water for over an hour, you start to get rash. If your board shorts are below your knee, you stand up, it'll grab your knee, and you'll just flip over the handlebars. So even training jujitsu, guys will complain about the shorts grabbing their knees. And then the key to the... the the key pocket, the side seam zipper, the reason for that is because if you have a, a Velcro pocket in the back and you normally put your car key, everyone searches, they go take their truck to the beach, their Tacomas, mm -hmm. whatever, take the key out, and then they put their key in their pocket. If it's, in, if it's on the back on, your, on your, your butt cheek, then you can actually feel the key poking in and it hurts. And like you actually, like people bruise from that. And if not even that, it's like if you fall or you like sit back down on your board, the key sometimes can be placed up and just like poke you in your leg. That's not good. So yeah, so the side seam zipper allows you to have it uh, sort of on your thigh and it doesn't get in the way, you're not sitting on it, it doesn't create any pressure dings in your surfboards. So there's a lot of details about board shorts people don't really know about and I live in board shorts. I would wear board shorts right now if I could. <laughs> not wearing bands right Every now. day. <laughs> yeah, board shorts are an everyday thing for me. So I want to make sure that those were, were designed correctly and, you know, with my manufacturing partners, you know, I just uh, locked in a manufacturing partner where we're gonna have access to like some insane materials too. So we're just, all we're gonna do is just elevate, you know, the material with the antimicrobial. Uh, there's like steel skin properties that we wanna do in some of our shorts. Um, there's, there's so much stuff. There's actually like one that it, the board shirt will, will sort of react as like a coolant. Like if you overheat, it'll kind of take your body temperature down. So there's so much properties. What? Yeah, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of stuff out there that I wanna, wanna test out. So we're wow. only gonna get better. Are you gonna have that for girls too? Uh, absolutely. We oh, actually. We don't really overheat as much, right? <laughs> no, no. I'm the one sweating. You guys are keeping it all cool, <laughs> calm, and collected. Yeah. Um... But we do have a women's line coming out. So a lot of our items right now are unisex, but they're mostly tailored to men. Mm -hmm. But she's wearing. I mean, I am wearing. Yeah. That's a, that's one actually a man's hoodie. She's wearing an extra small. It's the, um, wow. Yeah. She Somehow has. Somehow she makes it look really good. Yeah, she makes everything look good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we do have a bunch of women items coming out and um, yoga apparel coming out. So I've grew up doing yoga, gymnastics, dance, cheer, all that. So I've been testing them. I let out a little sneak peek of them on my Instagram. Yeah, people went crazy. And people went insane. <laughs> What's your Instagram? Andrea underscore stickle. Here's my name. Okay. Check her. And <laughs> what's your Instagram? Kekoa underscore Azamaro. Almost forgot my Instagram. And what's the company's Instagram? <laughs> Ambassadors with Aloha. Okay, cool. Yeah, so you yes. just type that in, you'll find it. Let's take a look at some more images. Awesome. All right. I think they'll have some, some lady, lady stuff in there. Yes. Okay, so here's actually another image of the, uh, I, I just, for some reason, I just love this image. It's, it's you know, uh, one of the models we had work with us uh, walking, and he's out in uh, Palm Springs. It was during Coachella, and it just has such a cool vibe. Mm. Um, you can, you can sort of see how there's these, you know, younger generations wearing these long sleeves with these cool graphics down the sleeve. And it just has, it, that just completely embodies kind of what we're trying to do. And, you know, with connecting with the younger generations, it has like that very hip sort of, you know, just Hawaiian aesthetic. And it's just something completely mm -hmm. different. I feel like the market really needs. And I feel like we're going to be the ones to fill that gap. I like it. Mm -hmm. Going global. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right. We have a couple more images. Oh, here's some girl stuff. Okay, so this right here is our mint represent hoodie. Um, this right here is actually our best-selling item. Uh, we call this, our, we have a couple of nicknames for this, the golden ticket or the Omilu. Yes. <laughs> Every time we have a pop-up shop or we did something with uh, Bloomingdale's, people immediately just come running to this, this hoodie because it has this like really just cool mint kind of teal color. It was like cool and yeah. fresh. Yes. And then the graphics on the sleeves, there's all of these little stamps with the Aloha State, um, Para Never Dies, and then across the chest is the Aloha. And then you can see down on the bottom, we have the logo. And there's all of these little, little graphics that are completely custom to our brand that we did. And 
just the detail has a really cool feel. And yeah, uh, yeah the, the girls love that hoodie. The guys love it. It's also cool because all of our colors, they all tie in together. Mm -hmm. So you could wear the hoodie yeah, with so he's the, wearing the hat. So this right here mm -hmm. is the exact color of that hoodie. So you kind of wear it as a set. So if you wear this, you wear the, uh, I'm wearing the black performer tee. You wear it with the uh, island chain mint hat and you kind of wear it with the hoodie. With the Making Waves board shorts, it's a whole set. So the moral is we just need to only have ambassadors at Lohan. Yeah, you, you, you just always <laughs> match. You got everything. Okay. okay. Yeah. You got everything you need. Let's show the video real quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, it just has a very, you know, cool, cool feel. And mm -hmm. we want everyone to feel a part of this, you know, That's whether insane. they're, you know, that, and it's insane. Most of our sales are all coming from the mainland, too. We have mm -hmm. a ton here, but we have a lot of people from Cali that are, and they're always, they, they tag us on Instagram and they're like, had to represent the Aloha up here in New Jersey or stuff like mm -hmm. that. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. Yeah. And I think it's important that we have companies that are here. And that's obviously something mm -hmm. that Up is very passionate about that we get to take back that narrative of the way the world learns about Hawaii, the way the world shares about Hawaii and aloha. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really wonderful that your messages are getting out there mm -hmm. to the mainland, to the globe, and it's really coming from right here, and it, it feels very uh, authentic and that connection to culture here. That's a goal. So let's talk a little bit about um, being an entrepreneur in Hawaii. I know you want to <laughs> keep it here uh -huh. um, and grow this brand from Hawaii out to the world. What have been some of the challenges um, in building your business uh, here? Oh man, um, so if you know me at full transparency is a thing with me. I, I like to be very, very open because I want to share my story and I want others to feel encouraged and not feel like it's just like, oh, it's all perfect and everything is awesome. It, it's hard. There's days where you're sit, I'm sitting there looking at her and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, what is going on? And then there's days where like, all of those days where you're sitting there, what am I doing? Completely makes sense. And something happens and you, you know, you get a retailer or you get an opportunity and you know, thankfully for us, it's just, you know, the, the, the hard part for us was making sure our back end and everything was built correctly in order to scale. And, you know, I'm going to brag a little bit about you right now. Melly and, you know, Mana Up have been amazing. Um, I remember, you know, looking over at Andrea and, and, and asking her, I'm like, there's something I need to do with her. Do I, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, compete full time, run my business and maybe take a course, a business course or something where I really want to educate myself and get to that next level. And Mana Up, it was so perfect. It was literally like God sent because it was exactly what I needed to figure out, okay, here's a, here's a plan and let's implement what we got to do in order to get there. And it's been so strategic. Uh, everything that we need to learn, whether it's merchandising, shipping, um, you know, talking to these other brands, you know, that are, that are global, $500 million brands coming in, sort of saying where they started, how they grew. Mm -hmm. um, Stuff like that has been such a huge help because that for me was a struggle was sort of figuring out, okay, what's the next step? You know, I have this inventory. What do I do with it? What do we do with the next drop? Where, where do we want it placed? And, you know, we've, being in Mana Up has just been so helpful. And, you know, it's sort of guide, it's guiding us in the right direction. And, and, you know, for us, our strong point is, you know, working, doing the photo shoots, the social media, the videos. The YouTube series, Andrea models full time. She has all of her friends that model our gear. So we have that part unlocked. That's that's our that's the fun part for us. The fun part is also the business, but that was the struggle for us. It's sort of figuring out, okay, what do we really have to do to get to that next level and scale? And and Mana Up has been so instrumental in that. So we're super thankful. Well, we're we're excited to have you. We <laughs> we you. love execution. You guys mm -hmm. are great executors. So. Yeah, trying. Our favorite uh -oh. our favorite type of entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Well, actually, speaking of Andrea modeling, let's get to that last image so we don't make sure we don't miss her. On her. <laughs> there there she go. is. Yes, so that's our windbreaker. So it actually is a unisex item as well. Um, it's perfect for Hawaii weather because it does get a little chilly, but it's not too hot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And yeah, that's. What's so coming up next sense. for you guys? I know there's a Bloomingdale's uh, and there's yes. a couple other big things. What's what's up? What's coming up next for the company? Um, we had well, we just been we just wrapped up a lot of exciting stuff. We were just actually featured in the uh, most recent um, Fast and Furious Hobbs and Shaw what? with the Rock. Yeah. So Where? We, when? Um, How? That just released in August. So we had a lot of our gear. So that actually, the scene you guys can go check it out. The scene where the Rock goes back to Samoa to go visit his his entire family. Mm -hmm. All of him and his brothers are wearing all of our gear. 
So we got a call from Universal Pictures. I thought someone was messing with me. I was like, oh, okay. And they're like, we need everything you have in 2X. And I was like, done. So they took all of our stuff. They, uh, they, they cut the sleeves off. They kind of, the costume director weathered it, did what they had to do because they were at the, I don't want to spoil the movie if anyone didn't see it yet, but go check it out. You'll see our stuff everywhere. So wow. that, was, that was exciting. Mm -hmm. and, I'll uh, take a screenshot. Yeah, for sure. And uh, yeah, we have some really cool stuff coming up. We got the November 14th showcase coming up at DFS. We are actually going to be releasing a collaboration at that event that is going to be absolutely insane. We've been working on this collection for the last four months. Yep. Um, we're going to have board shorts. It's with a really well-known street brand that's based in LA and the Bay Area. Um, and this is actually a brand I looked up to uh, growing up as a kid. And I actually bought a bunch of their stuff when I was younger. So when I got the, the message from the owner, I was like, oh, someone's messing with me again. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, we, uh, we uh, created a plan. They wanted it to be very, have that very uh, Aloha Hawaii vibe, which I think we accomplished really well. But it also has that very kind of like L.A. street vibe. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to actually release that collection November 14th at the showcase. So stay tuned. All right. Yeah. I like it. So, yeah, one. the Mana Up Cohort 4 showcase yep. at DFS. So mm -hmm. be sure to follow mm -hmm. Mana Up as well to, mm -hmm. to be let known when that event happens. At Mana Up on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we just have a couple more minutes left. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about or otherwise, you know, want to definitely hear from you guys around how our local community can continue to support, you know, you as entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and also the brand? Um, something that's really important for us that I want to share is like, you know, for me, I always want to be really, um, you know, hands on with our, our cakey mm -hmm. and, you know, and the more that, you know, ambassadors of the Loha Girls, the more outreach I can have with the kids. You know, I just, I just went to um, Aliko, uh after school program last week, and I talked to like, about 100 kids at uh, Anaheim Elementary School. And it was so cool because we had these, uh, we printed out these little papers of these uh, um, T-shirts. And what I had them do is I had them, I said, hey, listen, I kind of explained, you know, who I was, uh, you know, a surfer and, you know, uh, starting ambassadors with the Loha, And I had them draw their own graphics on the T-shirt with me. So awesome. I sat there with him. I cannot draw to save my they life. They were talented. Yeah. They were, yeah. Yes. yeah. So what we're going to do, actually, I think, is we might take one of the graphics from that and create a shirt and go surprise them and take them shirts. I love because it. Because we really just want to inspire, you know, the, the Keiki and, and the, the future generations coming up. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I go over there and I make sure I'm very clear to them that, you know, I tell them, I, you know, chase after anything that you want to do in life. And, you know, always make sure that, you know, you stay focused in school. And I always encourage them to be respectful to their teachers, to their parents and stuff, because they have, yes, they have yeah, their yeah. best interests you know, at heart. Well, I think um, that's an awesome message. And I mm -hmm. love that Ambassadors of Aloha are kind of multi, um, kind of coming into the community and love that our community can continue to support you mm -hmm. from right here in Hawaii, growing globally. I want to thank you both for being on the show. Thank you so much of for course. having us. Yeah. That's awesome. And all this awesome stuff here, the, <laughs> the lids and all that. We got the gear right here. <laughs> we got the gear right here. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for having Thank us. Thank you.